Okay, so in this video I would like to demonstrate how to use Teams, NDI and OBS uh, to provide uh, live streaming. But the first thing we need to do is to make sure the prerequisites are done. So first we go to the Teams Admin Center, Meeting Policies Global, and ensure that the Allow NDI Streaming is switched on. Then you need to go to the OBS uh, Studio web page and download the 64-bit version here. Once you've installed OBS Studio, you need to download and install the OBS NDI integration tool from NewTek. And finally, you need to ensure that within Teams, uh, NDI is enabled. So you go to Settings, Permissions, and here just ensure that it's checked. Okay. Now that all the prerequisites are done, I'm going to initiate a call between uh, three people, so myself, Mike, and Philippe, uh, to demonstrate how to split each participant into a separate stream in uh, OBS through NDI. So we initiate the call. So here we have the three participants um, to the meeting. So, okay, so the next thing we do is to open OBS Studio. We've got a new scene here. So the first thing I want to do is to add a background wallpaper. Go to the location of the image. It's quite a big image size here. Click on OK. Then we need to play with the resolution. Now that we have the wallpaper in place, uh, what I'd like to do is add some animated text to introduce the uh, live stream. What I do is I come to this website here, enter, enter media. You can enter some text there, whatever text you want in here. You click on apply. You then grab this URL from here. Click on the wallpaper, add browser. With the logo and paste the source inside the URL. And just resize it. Okay, next we're going to do is to add the NDI sources from the Teams meeting. So we click on Add NDI Source. That's what I add the user mic flow. We select them from the drop down list here. As you can see, uh, and the I split each uh, participant of the meeting into his own stream here. Click on Mike and add. And here we have his screen. So you can play around with the size here, or by clicking on Alt, you can crop the image. Put it like this now. Yeah, always make sure you select first before moving. Okay, next we we'll add the other NDI sources. So, select, okay. And we'll add the final one, which should be in my, from my machine. In this case here, we select local. Okay, let's just resize that up. Okay, so there we have the three participants of the meeting here. There is an extra 
NDI source, which is called Active Speaker, which, uh, as someone speaks in Teams, um, this view will change to that person all the time. So this view here will rotate depending on uh, who's speaking in the Teams meeting. Let me place him here. Okay, so I also would be also good is to add some text onto the users here. So the two ways of doing this, the first and most most simple is to click on the source, add text. And this is my hello. Paste or type in the text you want. You can change the font. Click on OK. Reduce this and place it there. Another way to add something nicer is to use again, go to this website here, select from the animated uh, overlays, a one line, choose which option you want here. Enter the name of the person you want. Again, click on apply. You copy the URL and we'll put it here. So again, right click, add, browser, paste the URL, okay, it's my flow, okay, and again you can just resize it. Now, one of the problems we have here, obviously, is if you click on the image and you move it, as you can see, it's two separate uh, sources. So, what you can do is, from the sources uh, menu, click on the video source, and you click on the text. These two, I believe, yeah. Right click and group items. Turn on, you can select, and it moves around. Okay. Next, what you can do, just quickly to show other features of OBS, is during the live stream, you can create different scenes. So, for example, you can have this be an active speaker. And in here, we right click, we click Add, with NDI Source. And as we've added it already within the first scene there, it's automatically available here. So I just click on Active Speaker, OK. And for example here, I can just make it full screen. So as the live stream is happening, you can just switch between scenes like this. Obviously, you can create multiple scenes to have, uh, to break down the uh, various sources that you have. Okay.